Welcome back to Tech Nuggets. This is yet another interesting video on Node.js framework, Fastify. Fastify is one of the fastest web framework, comparatively Express framework. In this video, I'll be covering Fastify, MongoDB, REST API, CRUD operations. Before we go into this video, there's a quick channel analytics. There are 1.1k view in last 28 days. Thank you for your support and views. However, there are only four subscribers during this period. This subscriber rate is very very low. In this channel, so far, totally about 36 subscribers out of it four is in last 28 days. Out of all of this views and subscribers. There is only very small percentage of 9.9% viewers or subscribers. The remaining 90.1% are non-subscribers. If you have not subscribed yet, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button. Let us aim for at least 10 to 15% of this non-subscriber to be a subscriber. I need your support. In getting more subscribers you may ask why should I subscribe the reason being this channel will become one of your go-to place for a technical quick reference in terms of programming and UI designing also architectural point of view refer channel description for full technical coverage let us dive into today's video let me do a quick introduction. Fastify is a web framework highly focused on providing the best developer experience with the least overhead and a powerful plugin architecture inspired by Happy and Express. As far as we know, it's one of the fastest web framework in town. So these points were taken from fastify.io. So what are the core features? Highly performant, extensible, schema based, logging, most importantly, developer friendly, and TypeScript ready. And also, it's got a very healthy plugin ecosystem which contains 210 plugins. So, this is really a good number of plugins compared with any other framework. In terms of performance, just to compare it, uh, Fastify can serve 59.6 requests per second while Express can serve 13.2 requests per second. So more detail on this benchmarking you can uh, uh, visit this uh, benchmark URL which shown on the screen. So this speed is almost like 4x faster than Express. So more, more detail uh, on Fastify. Please visit uh, www.fastify.io. Okay. Out of this demo lectured. So what we'll be uh, doing is uh, installs and coding. So as part of install, we'll be creating. Uh, before we do install, we'll create an empty package, empty folder, and uh, run a npm init y to create a empty package the default package dot json to be created then we'll be installing uh, yeah, with the npm i command fastify fastify swagger and mongoose uh, fastify swagger is a api enabled api documentation it gives you beautiful uh, api documentation from the browser you can test it and also we'll be uh, installing uh, dev dependency for nodemon that is npm i minus the capital D that uh, that will help you to um, uh, restart your node server as soon as make any change so that you don't have to manually restart your code okay along with that uh, we'll be installing a rest client in visual studio code plugin for HTTP rest method testing so as per as part of the code I will explain how do we make a MongoDB connection setup 
the basic hello world then thread operations with the testing and finally i'll show you how to enable api documentation wherein you can see the beautiful um swagger documentation so uh, the entire code is structured in a single fat file so what is next for example you beautify this code put routers models and controllers into a separate file uh, from the current fat file okay let's uh, get into the today's demo considering length of this video i made this uh, i'm uh, i have broken this video into two parts part one which uh, will give you the basic foundation with uh, the installs and the basic structure and also with the very simple allow route of the fastify and uh, part two will give you the actual uh, CRUD operation on the product uh, it's like a simulated product uh, CRUD operation we are going to do and also with the swagger let's dive into the part one with the basic uh, allow fastify okay um let us do the initial setup right first thing you create a empty folder they created a node.js projects and fastify empty folder and I include that into our visual studio code uh, if you go to one so rest client the package which I have installed and see you can go ahead and install this package now let's go back here open the shell um say the first step pm it y let it create a default package okay so it is done we'll find a package.json Now let's install the dependencies, right? npm i fast e y if I agor it take a couple of seconds depending upon your internet speed. So that is done. Let's install uh, another one that is um, every dependency npm i minus node more. So while doing so you can see this mongoose or fastify and nodemon let's uh, modify this startup script so we need to do this so first first of all um, the main server will be server.js js and uh, one we want to have two things on us uh, that node server 
then we have dev normon is our okay so those are your uh, changes save this now you need to create a server.js okay let's add some of the basic code and see okay let's do the basic code for allo then let's move on to the CRUD operations first thing go ahead and uh, declare fastify I'm just naming it as fastify um you can name it whatever you want just I'm keeping us for our fastify then we have an enable logger inside that okay so this is the first one because this is the root of uh, all of this entire server then i will declare a port number i'll keep it as uh, 3000 as my port number then uh, let's write the basic code Start async the fat arrow to send um, try eight I So fast I dot okay then process with positive number. So this is the server it will be waiting for a listening on the port number. Finally define start which it will call so we have done that however we wanted to do the basic uh, route so this will be just on a port number we can see that too example uh, how do we do one is you can start straight away npm start the server or we can use a uh, node mon right in order to run that m run so automatically what will happen is this will start reading this code and it will start the server okay, now let's do the default routing one allow route okay. so, because route is the actually your entry point where um, this have to go to the URL or URI, whatever you call it, right? Say fastify dot get say hello then this requires request as so the default convention is res but i'm just adding p as a response and for fat arrow okay so s dot and okay like hello as a key hold as a value
okay so in order to test that let's use a browser right now this um will host mm, thousands like hello awesome so we are able to can see the value and also you can see there are some loggings logging message okay i think we succeeded on the first first step and then the next thing is we'll jump into the actual operation okay